A reading this morning is taken from St. Luke's Gospel uh, from chapter 19. And it's the story of a little man called Zacchaeus. I'm sure many of you will be very familiar with the story of Zacchaeus. I know I remember him very well from uh, Sunday school days. I remember story, his story from my children's Bible. And I still have an image of him up a sycamore tree looking down on Jesus passing by riding a donkey. But the story of Zacchaeus has something to say to us as adults rather than just simply as a children's story. I read from chapter 19 of the Gospel according to St. Luke at verse 1. Jesus went on into Jericho and was passing through. There was a chief tax collector there named Zacchaeus, who was rich. He was trying to see Jesus, who Jesus was. But he was a little man and could not see Jesus because of the crowd. So he ran ahead of the crowd and climbed a sycamore tree to see Jesus, who was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and said to Zacchaeus, Hurry down, Zacchaeus, because I must stay in your house today. Zacchaeus hurried down and welcomed him with great joy. And all the people who saw it started grumbling. This man has gone as a guest to the home of a sinner. Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Listen, sir, I will give half my belongings to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, I will pay him back four times as much. Jesus said to him, Salvation has come to this house today. For this man also is a descendant of Abraham. The Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. The story of the little man Zacchaeus, which we have just read from the Gospel, is, I think, one of the most familiar stories that we know about Jesus. The story is a, a fascinating account of a man who wanted to see Jesus, who wanted to know more about Jesus, who wanted to see him perhaps out of curiosity, but instead found himself face to face with him. And of course, this confrontation led Zacchaeus to a complete change of life. Like many of the stories from the Gospel, the tale of Zacchaeus is very familiar to many of us. And it's the kind of story that tells us a whole variety of things about a person's experience of Jesus Christ. And from that point of view, it's also worthwhile looking at again and again. What do we know about Zacchaeus? Well, we know really nothing very much other than he was a chief tax collector. And as such, he was a man who was despised by his own people. 
He was despised because he'd thrown in his lot with the hated Romans. He had cheated his people by collecting more tax than he needed to, and he had kept what was left over for himself. As such, he was considered by the Jews to be nothing more than an outcast. The curious thing about Zacchaeus is why did he want to see Jesus in the first place? Why was he interested in this man? This man who had a reputation of being a teacher, a healer, a holy man. Jesus was hardly the kind of person that you would imagine Zacchaeus would have wanted to see, <clears throat> never mind eventually meet. But we're told that Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. I suspect that he wanted to see Jesus only at a distance and out of curiosity rather than for <clears throat> any religious reason. But whatever the reason may have been, Zacchaeus was determined to see Jesus. And that determination led to the fact that this story became so well known because in his efforts to see Jesus above the crowds, he was forced, because of his height, to climb a sycamore tree. He was a man of importance, climbing a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. And from that position, he was able to see all that was going on. It was a a useful vantage point. He was up out of the way, able to see everything from a safe distance. There are many people like Zacchaeus who are curious about Jesus. There are people who want to find out something about Jesus. But people who are only willing to do that if they are at a suitable distance. They want to be far enough away so that they are not required to make any kind of commitment, any kind of decision. And Zacchaeus from the vantage point of the sycamore tree was able to see Jesus well enough, but he had no desire or intention, as far as we know, to come face to face with him. Jesus, however, saw the little man perched up in the tree and to his surprise and astonishment, Jesus was there at the foot of the tree speaking to him. Come, Zacchaeus, said Jesus. I want to have tea at your house today. The amazing thing is that this is something that has happened to people throughout the centuries. People who have viewed Jesus from a distance, people who have tried to find out something more about him, and they have in some instances gone to a great deal of trouble to find out more. But many, it has to be said, have backed off because they have preferred 
to remain at a distance. They have not been prepared to accept the invitation to join him for tea. Zacchaeus, on the other hand, he was one who did. And Jesus went to Zacchaeus' house. And while he was there, Jesus had an amazing effect on the life of that little tax collector. He was obsessed with money. Money was Zacchaeus' job. Collecting taxes for the Romans. At the same time, taking the opportunity of amassing wealth for himself. And Zacchaeus had, for this reason, drifted away. Drifted away from God and thrown in his lot with the Roman occupiers. The influence of Jesus changed all that. And we are told that Jesus changed Zacchaeus' life. And not only did he repent of what he had done, he promised to repay double what he had cheated from his people. Now Jesus had replaced money as the ruler of Zacchaeus' life. You know, I think that we in the church are sometimes a bit guilty of being like Zacchaeus. We want to see Jesus. We want to know more about him. We want to know what he can give us. We want to discover the secret of who he is. But we don't want to get too close. We don't want to be confronted by Jesus in the way that Zacchaeus was. We don't want to find ourselves having to make a real decision about him. We would prefer to remain at a distance. But you know, that's the challenge of faith. It's all about decision making. It's not really about observation or assessment or of building up a knowledge base. It's about making up our minds what we believe and how that belief is going to change our lives. I'm sure that we won't actually need to work all this out. I don't think for a moment that Zacchaeus had to work out what happened to him. It just happened. He saw Jesus. Jesus saw him. Jesus offered to come to his, into his life. And Zacchaeus accepted. And from there on, it was all change. As we read some of these things that happened all these centuries ago, we can be excused if we think to ourselves, yes, but, well, did it really happen that way? I wonder if the writer has perhaps exaggerated a little. Is it really likely that a man like Zacchaeus could change so dramatically? And the answer is yes. Yes, there, are, there have been many people who have come face to face with God People who have found their lives totally changed. Like St. Paul on the road to Damascus. And over the centuries, many, many others 
who have found themselves totally changed in their direction because they have come face to face with Jesus and he has challenged them. He has knocked at their door and they have opened the door and their lives have been totally changed. Open the door to Jesus in your life and Jesus will change the direction of your life. All glory be to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen.